I quit sugar for a week and here's what happened. Well, first, why? I recently spent a week in Las Vegas celebrating Kalox's 30th birthday and also on the last day of the Vegas trip took part in a side men's 10,000 calorie challenge. I need to fix the way I eat. So, what are the rules? Obviously, no sugar or at least no added sugar. However, I'm not going to allow myself to have fruit or fruit juices because I think that's still a cop out. It's still so much sugar in those items. So that means nothing but water. No Coke, no 7-Up. No Fanta, it's just water. That's why this is gonna be my baby this video and this next week. Today is day one, it's Monday, and what I've ordered is Chipotle. All right, here we go, the first meal on the first day. I think the beans had like one gram of sugar, but again, it's not like they're adding sugar to beans, right? Who does that? Now it's time for my dinner that lovely Laura has cooked up. We got my drink, my water there as well, my lime water. Woo! Potato and peas. I had to ask specifically for no sauce on the salmon. Day two, for lunch, Yet again, I had Chipotle bowl. Which is obviously good because I had the same thing yesterday and it had no sugar in it. However, I did find out that there's zero grams of sugar in a tortilla wrap. Tomorrow, instead of ordering, I'm gonna make my own food, okay? I'm gonna make my own wrap. Eating the same food every single day is a very easy way to stop you doing a certain diet. The goal as well is to weigh myself on every single day of this week to see the direct correlation of no sugar to the weight that I weigh. And right now, I'm the heaviest I've ever been. I did weigh myself today, this morning, and I was 309 pounds, which honestly is so disappointing. Obviously, that's why I'm trying to fix this. When I got married, I was 227 pounds, and I was really happy with that, and then I just couldn't sustain it. I moved to London. That, London is what killed me, honestly. Take out not good for you. Today doesn't look as great. Tomorrow, I'm definitely making my own food. I'm definitely making a wrap, I think. I'm gonna make like a turkey chicken style wrap. Tonight, though, I'm actually gonna go see Hans Zimmer live. There's probably gonna be some food there, but I gotta be careful, okay, because it might not not be, you know, healthy. So I'm gonna have some dinner or tea tonight with Laura. Oh, 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 what is it, Laura? Laura, in all of this, of course, was a godsend, as she is anyway. Smoky, smoky, and no sugar to be found, right? Mm -hmm. Even in the sauce. Oh my god, it's like an m &S advert. This is not just pasta, this is Laura's pasta. Anyway, I'm sat here on my throne with my throw blanket. Look at that, cute. On the, I call my sofa my Sophie. <laughs> any buffet food but you could order but I didn't want to order because I knew it would be like chips and that. I did have a couple drinks but I had whiskey. Didn't film it but Ethan checked. Zero sugar in the whiskey. Zero. Zilch. So a couple days in now and what I was finding was that because I was trying to not eat sugar I was just not eating as much and I don't think that's a smart thing to do. I have ordered some food right now. Ooh, it's not a takeaway. Here's what I got. Tortillas, hummus and rice cakes. So these don't have any sugar in. Per rice cake almost non-existent. I'm hungry right now, okay? Like, I feel amazing actually. I don't feel bloated. I feel very like normal, I guess. But I can tell I'm a little bit like lightheaded. I'm not sure if that's because I'm hungry or if that's because I'm not having enough sugar. Because I'm trying to not eat sugars, I've just not been eating much. So I need to make sure I still eat something, which is why I'm having a quick snack now. Still going strong with my air up. What is this, I hear you ask? This video is sponsored by air up. This is the most futuristic water bottle you will ever see in your life. Here we go. Water. Pure water, it has a flavor taste to it through your nose, your scent. These are the pods that give it the flavor. And right here, I've got cola and I've got tangerine. Two flavors I've never tried before. In fact, there are limitless flavors. Let's give cola a try. Oh, it smells so good already. So this goes on here, like so. Obviously, you need to fill it up with water. You pull the tab up. And just to clarify here, when the tab is pulled up, the pod is activated. And when it's pushed down, you're drinking regular water. Tab up, and then you just simply drink. Oh, that's good. That is good, baby. And again, you don't have to actually sniff. You don't smell. It's, it's just weird to do that. You just drink normally. The science behind it just works. Make water great again. And look at the water bottle. It's actually sick. The strap also pulls off as well. Bam. So you can replace it with something else. Or you can attach it to your coat, your bag. You make different colors as well. Including green and the new blue. It's the perfect gaming companion as well. You can also take it to school, college, work. It just integrates your daily life so, so well. No sugar, no calories. And you, yes, you can get 10% off if you use the code Randolph. Why would you not use the code Randolph? And why would you not get this? And there we go. That's Air Up, guys. Giving taste to water with scented air. Here we go. So I saw it on TikTok, he used pickles and tomato, but I ain't doing that. So I'm gonna put in roast turkey, British, British roast turkey, lettuce, cheese, and mustard, right? Apparently mustard has no calories. That's not lettuce, that's like literally plants. <laughs> Look how thick that is. No. Come on. It's not the right lettuce. Right, let me find some more. No, mustard? Yeah, tiny bit though. <laughs> I don't even like mustard, it's got no sugar in it. <laughs> What? I'm so picky. I'm not picky, but in my opinion, that's for animals, like rabbits. <laughs> that's for rabbits. Right, let's see how you do it then. Well, this is not how my rap imagined. That's not how I imagined it, but it's okay, Laura. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Pikes from here? No. <laughs> <laughs> it shows you how much I make. It shows you how much I make food, guys. Oh, Bit of mustard. <laughs> how does rap god do it on TikTok? I'll scrunch it up a bit. Right now, taste test. Yeah, success. Yeah, I mean. I feel like you wanted some mayo. Mayo would have been good actually. <laughs> Seven out of ten. It needs proper lettuce. You know what? I, okay. Do you know what lettuce I mean? I do. Yeah. Crunchy lettuce. I'll get you some on the way back. Ooh. Day four. Okay, update on how I'm feeling. I'm actually feeling great. Okay, so I've had the meals. I've had the few snacks that you saw. So you saw the snack the other night. Currently like one o'clock right now and I don't feel hungry at all. I did enjoy my wrap yesterday. I did enjoy it. Don't say that I didn't. I did enjoy the wrap yesterday, but I'm going to have a burrito today. I can't eat burritos though. I can't eat them. I always question Simon how he's able to eat them without spilling it. But yeah, uh, but I feel good though. I've lost a pound and a half every day as well. But yeah, really good, man. Six. I'm here with these boys Hello. and um, this boy. We are filming a video for Simon trying out Mr. Beast. Food. Happy dad. But I'm just checking the, sh the sugar contents of this, and it looks like it's not that bad. Total sugar is one gram in a whole bottle. Yeah, one gram. It's a can. You're gonna have to gargle it and spit it. I'm alright with Jack doing that. That's what I do with you on a daily basis. Yeah, you do. Yeah, I definitely do. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say don't make this video weird? Well, you're in it though, so. And then uh, how about this? How about the Mr. V strap? Let's see. Oh it's definitely upside down. Look. <laughs> It is. It took, Wait, is it? it took me so long no, to realize. No, because no, you'd open it like this. Yeah, 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 like yeah. It took me so long to realize, though. <laughs> right, where are the sugars at? Total sugars. Oh my god. That's 12 servings. Okay, so I, I'll have a little nibble, you know? Yeah. A little nibble. All right, all good. Today we have cheese, it looks like. Turkey meatballs, I think. Pasta. I did have the burrito earlier. I ordered it from here. The driver refused to come up to the flat. I was on a call, so I couldn't go down. And he said to me, that's not my problem. I can't lock my scooter. You stop being lazy. So then thankfully I got refunded for that awful situation where I couldn't go down to get my food and my guy just refused to bring it up. But anyway, I then ate a burrito with John, which was a nice experience. Again, I spilled it all over myself. Yes, you guessed it. Day five. Today, it's another burrito. Today is definitely the biggest challenge because Laura and I head into Liverpool for the Pokemon tournament. And whenever I've been trying to eat better and I go away, it becomes a problem. Um, traveling plus random food. But we're gonna see what we can do. It's, okay, it's a good challenge. So yeah, the weekend away in Liverpool. I didn't film much stuff there for this vlog because I was very busy doing the Pokemon vlog, but I actually did very, very well in my opinion. Usually whenever I'm dieting or trying to eat better, it all goes out the window when I travel, okay? Because you don't have as much time, you don't have the luxury to check food. But I'm happy to say I did actually do very well. When I went to the restaurant, I had steak. I didn't have any sugar cravings. The air up definitely avoided the sugar cravings because I felt like I was having some sort of flavor. I always find the sugar that I consume the most is in drinks, you know, liquid sugar. Okay, but the real question is, did it work, okay? What did quitting sugar for a week do to me, my body, and could I continue and actually eat like this forever? And I think the answer to that question is yes, I actually could do that. And I'd also like to see what happens if I do it for longer than a week. Did I lose any weight? Am I still fat? The answer to that question is yes, but it did work. And I'm gonna to report to you guys right now my weighings, because I was weighing myself every day after the first day. I didn't film myself being weighed on the scale, obviously, because I don't wanna, you know. But I do have an app that tracks my weight, okay? So at the start of day two, I weighed myself and I was 309.1 pounds. Then on day three, I weighed 307.7 pounds, which is very good. That's a loss of one. It was 1.4, I think, loss. Let's go. Day four, 306.2 pounds. So it's an average of like one, Point three a day, I'm just losing, which is amazing. Day five, a bit of a problem, okay. Day five, we weighed in at 306. So I actually gained 0.5. I'm happy to announce that during the trip of being away in Liverpool for the weekend, without a scale, so unfortunately I don't have data of those days, I came back and I weighed myself on the Monday, which is day seven, the last day, and I actually weighed in at 306.5 pounds, which is not too much, no, it's not a lot, but what was important was that I went away, which is usually where I fall down on these challenges and actually came back still lighter. So on average, continue doing this over and over and over again, week by week by week, you'd slowly start to see that drop. I felt so much better. You know, I didn't feel bloated anymore. I felt a lot more free, if that makes sense. I was having more cooked dinners with Laura, so I was spending more time. We were watching TV together. I was drinking nothing but water, thanks to Air Up. I mean, how amazing is that? I was just drinking water, even though it felt like I was drinking something else. It was, it was just water. It was my nose playing tricks on So I want to say a massive thank you to Air Up for sponsoring this video and also providing me with the water bottle. Hopefully I can keep losing weight so I can get into that ring, you know, and smack your mum. Sorry, that was that was out of character for this video. <laughs> I'm getting sus. But yeah, take care guys. Thank you to Air Up again and peace.